Welcome back to another video guys. Currently 10 past four in the morning and we're just getting ready to go hit a run. We're doing a speed workout this morning or like a, um, we'll have some speed work in there but it's probably gonna be a longer one and we're running with the group again so I'm gonna take you guys along through that. Should be better weather today so I think last time I filmed with them it was really rainy, so it wasn't really the best footage. So I should be able to get some better footage and there should be a decent amount of people there. So it should be good. Nutrition or fuel for this morning. We've got a Go Bar from BPM. I've got a coffee, just one shot of coffee and some milk. And then we've got some G1M Sport there. So I'm gonna have this, probably go to the toilet and then um, yeah, we'll head off and we'll get this day started. Work lads. Hey. <laughs> Don't want to be in the video. I didn't know I didn't realize there was a big camera there. <laughs> Mar Marty dropped us off. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Friday run complete. So we ended up doing 30 minutes of progression. So we did a five minute warm up before that. Then we did the 30 minutes progression, started around four minutes pace, and then we went to I think it was around 350 pace and then 345 pace, something around that. We'll go through it when I get home, but just grabbed a coffee and it's a beautiful day. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy it. I'll see you guys at home. So we have prepared a nice little breakfast burger. Well, it's not that small. We got a brioche bun, two pieces of bacon, one extra large egg, and a lean beef patty. Oi, shh, be quiet for two seconds. Okay, let's go over this run. Before we do that, we do also have a shaker full with water. Strong red, strong greens, creatine, and electrolytes in that. So yeah, let's go over this run like I mentioned. So like you would have seen, just before or what I mentioned. 30 minutes of progressive running today as our kind of workout. I think last time I filmed um, a session like that a few weeks ago for one of my videos, it actually ended up being <laughs> the same session, but that's okay. I should, I'll try bringing you guys along for a Tuesday session because they're usually 
um, a bit quicker and faster with um, a lot more different kind of efforts split up. So pretty stock standard kind of workout today. So we did the first five kilometers at um, just 4.59 pace, just easy. And then we had the 15, first 15 minutes, which ended up 3.77 kilometers, 3.58 pace, which was the goal around, we wanted to start around four minute pace. And then we did 10 minutes, 2.6 kilometers at 3.52 pace. So like I mentioned, we just got a little bit quicker. So that was the goal, something around 3.50 pace. And then last five minute effort, goal was to just obviously get quicker than that again. So we ended up at 3.46 pace. It was literally so humid this morning. Um, we're, we're just lucky the sun hadn't come up yet because even after the warm up, we were sweating like crazy. Um, but we, we got through it and then we just did the cool down, which was, yeah, 1.44 kilometers. And the total, I think, total for the workout was just over 14 kilometers, average pace 440, 422, average heart rate 168. I'm pretty sure my heart rate was very high by the end of that 30 minute effort, but yeah, ended up going all right. We're gonna refuel now. I'm gonna show you guys a leg workout that I did on Wednesday, just at home. So we're gonna roll that and then I'll have to have a chat to you guys afterwards. Let's do it. So you guys that might've been watching my videos for a while would have remembered that I had a nice big home gym here, right where we are, but um, decided to utilize the space a little bit differently, got rid of all the home gym stuff and made a nice kind of living area out here, which you can't really see where I am at the moment, but we also needed more storage. So we put the shed in, I put it in about a month or so ago, kept some of the weights, which I've just put over here. But um, yeah, this is the space. We've got a little bit of room to do a little leg workout or whatever workout I need to do today. We're gonna do some legs, so yeah, we're gonna use the kettlebells here. We've got a bench and I'm gonna pretty much show you what you can do with just like minimal kind of equipment. I went for a 40 kilometer bike ride this morning. So what I feel with the bike ride, it, it worked my quads a fair bit. So I'm not gonna focus too much on quads with the legs training that I'm doing at the moment with my current training and stuff. So I'll be focusing more so on glutes hamstrings and calves as well. So they're kind of the main things that get used more when I'm running. And that's how I feel like it is. Like with the running, my hamstrings always seem to get really sore from that. With the riding, it works more my quads. So what I need to do is obviously build up strength in the hamstrings, glutes, and also the calves as well. So I'm just gonna roll some music over the top of these clips and I'll leave um, all the details on the screen with the with the sets, the reps, and hope you guys enjoy.
that is pretty much it for the workout guys now as i'm going into marathon training and like i said i'm cycling a lot at the moment as well the leg workouts are purely just more so strength building endurance and strength in the legs so i can endure hours and hours of running and cycling so yeah the main goal isn't to get strong as hell and squat heaps of weight like i have in probably previous videos like last year but um yeah just trying to build these legs up strength wise build strong glutes strong hamstrings strong calves quads so just so i can be an all-round better athlete so i hope you guys enjoyed that workout a set of dumbbells a set of kettlebells and a bench or kind of anything you can put your leg up and that's all you need to um yeah get an all-round decent workout and build some strength on your legs so that's one you can do at home but um hope you enjoyed that one hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout from the other day now i just wanted to quickly touch on something and talk about something on this video in particular that i just thought i would yeah chat about from experience so can you get stronger while also well get stronger particularly with your legs training while getting faster at running. Now, in certain instances, you probably can if you're a beginner at, at both. So yeah, maybe you're someone that hasn't done much weight before, therefore, as soon as you start doing it, you're probably gonna start getting stronger quickly. If you're, if you're a guy that's um, been going to gym for five, 10 years and you start running heaps, you can usually maintain a fair bit of that strength. What I feel, is that it's not the volume as much that drains your energy to to train legs it's the the pace mixed with the volume so when you're doing big speed sessions you're really those big speed sessions really drain a lot of energy like going for an easy run whether it's 10 15 20 kilometers Obviously past like kind of 90 minutes, like two hours, that is pretty draining, even if you are just doing it as an easy pace. But if you're just running at an easy pace for around an hour, it's not actually that draining to be doing that every single day once you get used to it. So you can kind of get away with, so what I've found is like when my volume's not as high, I'm not doing as much speed work, then I can actually go pretty hard with the legs training and build up some a lot of like kind of strength and be able to lift a lot heavier but once i go into like a solid marathon prep or just a prep for any kind of race where my volume jumps up heaps and i'm doing a fair bit of speed work my strength with training legs just plummets like crazy and it's just one of those things like you just have to kind of deal with it and what i've found is it's kind of you just have to accept the fact that you're not going to be as strong you just main thing with training legs is obviously to to build like endurance like get the muscle used to just getting smashed all the time and yeah don't focus too much about going crazy heavy now once you're maybe finish that marathon block or finish your prep for your race then you can back off on the running again and then you can try and then you can start lifting heavier weights again but trying to do both at the same time um it's just a nightmare, especially if you're looking at becoming a fast runner. You might see guys out there on Instagram putting up reels and stuff and they are strong as shit, but I guarantee you they're not really fast runners. They're um, doing a lot of just easy pace stuff. Now, you might even see a guy like um, obviously Nick, Nick Bear that is super strong, but you also, once when he's in like a marathon block, you won't see Nick like going crazy heavy, especially in the last block that he did, um, just because that's the thing. Um, you can't expect to be super, super strong while you're prepping for a marathon. So yeah, leave the strength stuff and the heavy lifting to after your, after your running block or just a time where you're, you don't need to be dial, as dialed in with your running and yeah, just go about it that way. So yeah. Sometimes it, the ego takes a bit of a hit because you feel like, oh, I'm not lifting much at all. But you gotta remember, what is my main goal at the moment? And if that's to run a fast marathon, say under three hours, yeah, anything under three hours, you need a decent amount of volume, you need a fair bit of speed work, 
and you're not going to be hitting any PBs in the weights room if a sub three hour marathon is your goal. So just remember that. Just wanted to touch on that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, um, yeah, support's been crazy lately, so I appreciate you guys so much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Catch you on the next one. See ya.